Hello, 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 Mimi Makers. Happy New Year. Um, it's been a while. I mean, I'm so glad uh, we're back. This is our very first preview and Fabric Friday of the year 2023. Um, I hope that this is a good opening act uh, for you. It is definitely for me. I think there's some really, really exciting things in there um, for this week. Uh, I'm excited to talk to everybody again. How I have, how are you, how's everyone doing? How did everybody get through the holidays? Did we all enter the new year? I hope everybody entered the new year on a positive note. Um, Allison's here, Sel, Miss Varia. His size here, even though she's not at the shop. I'm glad that she gets to watch Allison <laughs> in all caps. I kind of, I was kind of expecting it a little bit. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I was able to surprise Allison. I think she didn't know this was coming. Sandra, Jose, yeah, Happy New Year again for those who didn't hear it. I'm so excited that you're all here. Um, I'm just gonna give a couple of minutes to make sure that everybody gets to see these beauties she's getting ahead of herself Alison is again getting ahead of herself but she's probably sneak peeked everything she knows exactly everything that's already coming and that's awesome Marilyn Cheryl Catherine yay welcome back to the first video of the year with many more to come and uh many many fun things to happen this year Happy New Year, Victoria. I hope I'll see you this Saturday. More about the Saturday later as well. Or should I talk about that now while other people are still joining? This Saturday is actually a Mimi open house as well. So this means that uh, for those in the area or traveling to the area, um, we're in Canada, Ottawa. Um, we The shop is open this Saturday from nine to five and we do have a Mimi studio day so you can I think we still have two spots left uh, for our uh, Mimu Studio Day, which you can where you can rent some sewing space and just be here, uh, enjoy some sewing time with like-minded people, uh, and be in the store. So the good thing is, if you forgot something, we have it for you. So I hope to see some familiar faces there. I know some of you have already reserved their spot the moment the spots went up. So. Um, still some time to sign up or you just come by and say hi and shop these new beauties maybe. All right, let's get started. I mean, I know Allison wants me to start at the Rebecca. Well, the Rebecca happens to be relatively high on top. So I'll start with the Rebecca, right? Do we start with the best or do we finish with the best? Hands up for who wants to start with the best. I mean, it's arguably the best. I mean, I find there's a lot of a lot of best things in here. That is really wrong to say. It's just uh, some people prefer one over the other. All right, I'll start with the Rebecca. Number one is the, the fairy woods. Fairy woods. It's amazing. And the video cannot even convey how beautiful this is in real life. Like the colors are exceptional, absolutely exceptional. And the details that she has captures are out of this world insane. Like I think, I think this is probably artwork wise her best thing yet. And now it's upside down when I'm holding it like this. I just want to show. So I want to show this fairy here. So there's the fairy at the lily pond. And these happen to be the lilies from the lily print from last year. The lily pond, you remember that? Um, those are the same lilies. So it's like a whole story that ties together. The same with the trees. The trees, her signature trees are very similar to the trees in the forest animals or in the um, the uh, nocturnal unicorns. There are, there's one, oh my God, the glow. It's just the glow that she got so spot on. There's this, hold on, there's this darker fairy here. You see her? She's like dancing on the side there and she has this glowing um, glowing ball. It's actually a, oh, I think it's a, um, what are they called? I wanted to say glowworm. That's what we call them in German. Those little glowy bugs. I'm pretty sure somebody knows what they're, what they're called. Um, 
Oh, fireflies. They're called fireflies. I got glowworm fire. You know, you get it. You get it, right? You know, English is not my first language. That's always what I say. Okay. All right. So there's this one and there's these glowing mushrooms. There's a unicorn. I mean, look at this unicorn. There's just so much detail. I don't want to even spoil all the things, but it's an absolutely fantastic must have print. You might wonder why this print happens to be a little bit cheaper than the other ones is because there's like a small printing error in there, which really is not going to, I doubt that it's going to bother anyone. But so you see this. So what happened is that in her file, her logo also slipped in here. So about every 80 centimeters, you will have a little Rebecca logo in your print, but on the rest, see, like it just like it repeats every now and then. So what I did, just to be fair, um, for those who cannot work with this, I calculated the price to be from here to the rest of the fabric. So it's basically you're being charged for a slimmer part of the fabric and you're not being charged for the fabric from here to there, even though you can totally use that. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that there's a logo in there and some people might incorporate that into their designs. So we do have this in French Terry and Jersey, a little bit less of the Jersey, a little bit more of the French Terry and um, both are absolutely fantastic. Uh, this glowing tree, like look at this willow. It's like, you can't see it here on the, on the camera. It's just impossible. But in real life, you will see that this actually looks like it's glowing, even though it's just a painting. So absolute must have with a million details for you to explore uh or anyone who enjoys exploring these prints as much as i do then there's three more rebecca prints can you believe it so these prints in germany they were only available in her art box and as you know we don't do the art boxes anymore because the timing is just always a little bit off and i don't want to get people excited and then it doesn't come in time so i choose to just order it anyways but then you can just purchase the amounts um, that you need so this uh the collection is the withering heights collection um and this is not the blue colorway but the pink colorway which was an exclusive to the art box and this is basically the only batch um we have as this is the only print run of it so i want to start with these trees which I had like, when I just saw the picture of it, I'm like, what is this? It's really hard to see. When you see it in real life, again, way, way, way better. So this tree, like, look, can you see the details in the line work on this tree? It is absolutely magnificent. I don't know how she does it. All of these really three dimensional details of this. It's like looking through a tree without leaves, into the sky so the the background is the cloudy sky which goes from a blue to a pink cloud to just absolute awesomeness and i cannot wait to sew this up because it's absolutely absolutely my colorways it has the pinks it has the blues it has it's just uh it's insane so then the same print so these all coordinate together which is great so this is basically the uh the sky without the trees so if you wanted to do like a color blocking you don't want too many trees or you just want to see the sky so these are the clouds which again absolutely magnificent in real life it looks so real how she got these cumulus clouds uh rising above each other and the coloring like a really nice i don't know if this is this morning sky or evening sky I don't really care either way. I absolutely love it. And Luisa is there. Hi, Luisa. Schöne Grüße nach Deutschland. Up so late to watch her, uh, the fabric that she sells as well. But you know, it's a, it's absolutely like, look at this one. I find this is a really, really magnificent one. This is my favorite cloud. What's your favorite cloud? Does anybody else? I'm sure once you have it, you will find your favorite cloud. This is my favorite cloud. It's like, a heart like a sideways heart that's like coming out like uh i'm sure you'll find your favorite cloud so this is on french terry again and it's absolutely magnificent it's so soft it's a must-have limited edition get your hands on it now before it might not be available anymore and now i want to say the masterpiece but you know all of them are really masterpieces but it is the i guess the main print 
of the three, and I should have cut some off so that I, so that I can properly um, take this apart. So this is a border print. And this border print is so the trees, oh my goodness, Miriam, what are you doing? So the trees run along one side. So there's these trees. Can you see that? And there's birds and there's like, it's a beautiful, beautiful scene. And then that turns into this beautiful cloudy sky that we have just seen. Can you see that? So, so on one side of the selvage, you will have the trees. And on the other side of the selvage, it goes into blue sky. Like how absolutely magnificent is this? This is, this is stunning. Like this for a dress, for a shirt, for just really anything. This is gonna be absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm having a really hard time holding this up because it's such a big print. So trees only go along one side, um, very much like Walden um, and the, uh, what was it called? Not snowy mountains. What was it called? The other mountains, the gray mountains. So it's like one side. There's other prints that have it on you know, both sides. This is like one side trees, other side goes into blue sky and it's absolutely magnificent. Uh, Clearly, you need the trilogy of this masterpiece uh, because it is absolutely amazing. It does, Allison. Allison says it belongs in the Louvre. Her artwork is just, I feel like, I mean, I've always loved her art, but she's outdoing herself over and over again. I'm so, so glad that these fairies came to life because believe you me, for the past five years, I've probably been telling her to make these fairies and Luisa can uh, can speak to that because Luisa also has been telling her to make those fairies and she has been very reluctant to make them because she thought, so Rebecca thought that her fairies were not good enough or pretty enough. And Luisa and I have been working really, really hard on her to get this print made. And I think it's an absolute success. I will definitely frame a piece of it somewhere because I don't ever want to be without it. See, Louisa is telling, she's saying that it's true. I'm not lying. It's like you're basically thanking Louisa and me for making this. So essentially, Louisa and I made the print, right? So <laughs> no, just kidding. You know what I mean. It's a beautiful print. Go get it. So those are the Rebecca's for tomorrow. Um, and now I'm going to get to the other beauties, which are also uh, really amazing. We have not had a good textured knit in a while, and you know how much I love my texture. So we have, um, I think they're all florals. Yeah, they're all florals. We have some rib knits and we have some waffle knits with floral prints, and they're all a little bit different. I'm gonna turn down this brightness here. I feel like, I feel like this the the intensity of this is not doing us a good service. Is this better just to see the colors? Oops. I know my face is not as bright anymore, but I feel like it's better to see this. So this is like a delicate rose floral print on a rib knit. You see that? So this is a rib knit and it's a really soft one. So this is, it's really, can you see, you can see how smooshy it is. So this is smooshy, smooshy, soft, and it has a ton of stretch. And look at that recovery. So this is a really, really nice rib knit and I can see uh, really nice shirts, dresses, leggings, all of them things made out of this just because it has some added drape to it that I uh, I have not seen in a rib knit like this before. And this is a cotton. So Hisai and I touched it and we're like, is this, is this a bamboo? It is not, but it does feel really, really soft. The border print would be perfect for a dress with a matching shrug. It absolutely would be because you can use parts of the print for each of those pieces of the garment. Very, very uh, smart um, thing to do. I definitely want to see you make this, Jose. Please send us a picture or post it on our Instagram. Your Instagram, not our Instagram, your Instagram. And so this is the same print with those delicate roses, but on a blue background. Absolutely gorgeous. And perfect for spring. Look how it brings out the blue in my eyes. My eyes look more blue than they usually do. So clearly, I'm going home with this. This is going to look great on me. 
thank you very much. <laughs> that's how I shop. Depending on how my eyes look, that's the fabric that I buy. And there is another blue floral, but it's a smaller scale floral. So you have these, it's also a watercolor style, but just with like little blossoms and some leaves. And this is really, really nice as well. It would also be really cute on babies. I definitely want to see some little baby rompers and leggings out of this, but I would totally like look at this drape. I would make a whole dress out of it, maybe for my summer vacation, which I'm already planning. <laughs> this would be a really beautiful beach dress, hopefully beach dress. And then again, the same print in another colorway. So this is the, uh, the taupey, rosy thing. I think they call it taupe. And it is taupe, but it has a rose undertone to it. So it's, uh, it's very beautiful. I do like this colorway. Um, you know, reminds me of a sandy beach. Great for an evening drink on the veranda. So many things. Like, it just reminds me of a lot of sun. Um, it's really gorgeous. Just want to show you again, lots and lots of stretch and how um, it's just so soft. It's definitely, definitely really soft. So those were the rib knits. Then we also have the new waffles, which I also love. And they're equally as soft. Like this production run of these, they are incredibly soft. So this is um, the most colorful one of them. And again, it's a rose type print, uh, watercolor type, even with some uh, faux glitter on it. So a printed glitter. Look at these cute little bouquets. So if you look closer, it's like a, a mini waffle knit. And uh, I'll unroll a little bit of it. Ooh, it's a heavy bowl. So really, really smushy. And then we also have a lot of stretch, not quite as stretchy as the rib, but uh, still a lot of stretch to it. And then these would be on the back. They're white and on the front they have the print and they have a really good four-way stretch. This would make a nice dress too. Look again, the blue, clearly, clearly they were thinking about my eyes when they were making all of these, but the, these colors, okay. So all the jokes aside, they also work for other people that don't happen to have blue eyes. I feel like a light blue is such a good basic that goes with all, um, really with all complexions, with all hair colors. I find this type of blue is like your standard blue. And then you look at the rest of the colors and they will combine really well. By the way, I'm always happy to help you select your colors because I love doing that. I absolutely love color matching and finding colors that work uh, for individuals. So more than happy to help with it if you come to the store or you message me very happy to do that. So now this is the same print yet again, but uh, more in a two-tone, slightly monochromatic way, has a really bright white background. It looks very, this would be good for like a Valentine's themed outfit as well. Not that it has to be just Valentine's. Um, we don't want to put the fabric into a box, but just saying it would be really, really nice um, in a Valentine's outfit, this beautiful waffle. And then last but not least, we have one more print, two more colors in another delicate small scale floral. So this is the uh, light rose colorway in the small scale. And then we have the white. The white, so nice. Like I can see all these, uh, these little baby outfits. I don't have any babies to sew for, but I am sure there's lots of you that do, even though I would even, I would wear like a nice cardigan, like a summer cardigan, little cover up out of this, but um, so many really great things you can make out of a waffle. I just love texture. I love textured knits. If you've known me for a while, you know that about me. I love pink. I love glitter. I love texture. And I love leopard. All the good things. All right. So those were the knits for tomorrow. Now we do have some moments as well. And I have some, a really great thing to show you all the way at the end. So stay with me so you don't miss it. 
right, there's two new prints in canvases for uh, people who like to sew bags or who like to sew home decor or just anything that needs a little bit more um, stronger fabric. So this is a cotton canvas, absolutely gorgeous color. I predict that this will not stay on the shelf for very long. So it has this beautiful sage background, which in this light, again, it doesn't come out how beautiful the actual green is in the back. So go and check out the picture on the website. Um, I did take a picture of it and then has these pale roses. And I almost feel like I should make something for my mom. I feel like my mom would love this because she's obsessed with roses and this would be perfect for her. Um, so this is number one. And then number two, we have this beauty Ooh, that's upside down. So this is a directional print with this. Uh, it's also a painted a painted painting, I was going to say, that uh, you, know, you get what I mean. It has these, uh, you can see the streaks of the, uh, the crayon or the marker or whatever medium was used to do the original artwork. And it looks like waves or mountains. Uh, and I know that Sylvia made a little sample bag out of this, which I don't have here. And I hope that she can maybe post a picture in the So Let's Talk chatter group on Facebook so that we can all see it because it's absolutely fantastic. So this is different hues of blue, really, really beautiful. Uh, and then we have a whole bunch of colors of our twill canvas that have been either restocked or uh, that are new colors. Uh, if you have not sewn with this canvas yet, I'm just gonna show you the twill canvas is really, is it focusing? It's not focusing. It's a really nice heavy twill canvas, which you can use for pants. Uh, you can use it for coats, you can use it for bags, you can use it for home decor, all of those things. So the, the twill is really, really nice. Um, and we have some new and restocked colors of that because we were out. Do you believe it? All right. Last but not least, I do want to show you this amazing product that we found. And I'm super thrilled to have this in the mini store. Um, and it is, and of course, I'm going to show you the leopard version of it pre-made um, straps. So it has all the hardware on it. It has the webbing in a really fun um, decor. And it has the slider. Now, if I can work the slider, that will work. It has the slider. And then it has the swivel hooks already attached to it. So you just need to add it to a bag. So you can even add it to already an already made bag. Uh, you can you know, switch your your things for around. If you have like a basic black bag and you want to do some fun things, get five of them. Switch them around. Make sure they match your outfit, things like that. So um, they're all slightly different. So this one would be the leopard with, uh, you know, and then it has like these three pieces of hardware on it. But then some of them will have an additional piece on it. So this is also a leopard with the slider, but then it has like an extra swivelly thing here, like a, a rectangle hook. And then it has a faux leather. Oh, look at that. My nail broke off. You know, I hate it when that happens. Maybe I'll point with this one. I'll hide this one. I point with this one. Um, it has this faux leather patch here before you get to the swivel hook. So it's just another design element, but they're all uh, the same price. Um, they all have different colors of uh, of the metal finishings. It seems like I, I mostly grabbed the golden ones to show you, but this is so this is a seat belt webbing type um, leopard with a uh, green and brown leopard pattern. This one's silver. So this one is not a seat belt webbing. It's actually a really nice textured, woven webbing with a geometric pattern um, and that has a uh, sand color and sage and uh, and um, the taupe in it. Also really, really nice, very summery. Then this is another one that has the uh, that extra design element. So we have the the leopard on the side and then this middle is actually sparkly gold. Can you see that? It's a sparkly gold stripe in the middle clearly i bought all the leopards that were available because i love the leopards um then there's this one which i really like i think this is really really modern and timeless at the same time i feel like that's a, a recurring thing to have the um 
what is it called? It's like a tartan check type pattern. So this is the uh, orangey, I'm gonna say orangey brown, black and white with gold hardware. And then we have the blue, black and gray with silver hardware. And then we have another pattern. I think I just wanted to show like every, oh, there's some patterns that I forgot, but you get the gist of it. So this is a chevron pattern in the black and white with silver hardware. And there's many, many more. And I do want to show you this bag that Hisai made because, uh, you know, Hisai, our resident bag maker, has also yet again outdone herself. I feel like every new bag that she makes, I have to tell her it's the nicest bag she's ever made. I think to date, now this is the official latest nicest bag that she has made. And just look at it. Look at it. It is so good. So she made this with Steve. So it's Steve Waterproof Canvas. And her, her favorite and now signature design element is this uh, this um, faux suede trim that we have. It's the faux suede eyelet trim that you just put across the corner here with some Mimi zippers here and our new uh, Mimi trim bow clasp. And then look what she did. So she, she had to chop it a little bit for what she wanted to make, but she, this, this belt uh, is also one of these, but she decided to actually chop it on one side and only use half of it um, because this design, so it's like a pink and sand and white. It almost looks a little bit like a mountain range or waves, something like that. So she cut off one side of it and then used it for the rest of the bag here. And then um, she has the mini trim D ring up here and you know silly me i'm like why do you need this up here any guesses what this is for why would you have this up here when this is attached here i'm gonna see who knows so maybe i'm not the only one who didn't know i'm waiting any guesses what is the d-ring up here for what would you use it for would you put another strap on there would you put your keys on there your hand sanitizer. Oh, you could totally put like your little hand sanitizer thingy on there. Any other guesses? No guesses. All right. So she told me that this is so you can hang your bag. I'm like, this is so smart. So you can hang it. Uh, like if you, you know, some places actually have like these purse hangers, like the, the studio where I go to to get my nails done. Actually, they have like a little. All right. Cheryl knew. All right. People know. I didn't know. So you can hang it, you can hang it when you come home, you can hang it on a hook. Um, and uh, see, she used like a little bit of the webbing that she chopped off from the other side on there. So this bag is really magnificent. So you twist this open and then you can see the inside and she used uh, the, our beautiful rifle paper cotton on the inside. So there's, there's bag number one and then you open this up. And again, more rifle paper inside. Look at that. It's so cute. And she used the uh, a golden zipper. Golden zipper. Oh, she likes these in the middle. I'm going to I'm going to be in, in trouble when I don't put these back where they belong. So she used the the bold circle zipper pulls on this. Same in the back. Golden zipper and a golden zipper pull. And then she did uh, an outline with uh that's marrow leather that she used here and look at this and then more of this in there heather from grafton all the way from australia hi heather thanks for watching oh my goodness it's like uh, so international today anyways i just had to show this to you this is absolutely a beautiful bag if you need more information on this bag feel free to contact us or come to the shop and look at it. It'll be here for you to take a closer look. Uh, we can help you put together all the things that you need for this bag. Um, if you want to have the name of the bag, it's the Can Do Patterns Retro Sling Bag uh, for those of you who already want to look up the pattern. So all of these beauties coming tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you're signed up to our newsletter, you'll get the notification uh, when it's all live uh, with a little bit of explanation of what's coming and some extras that are in our newsletter. 
Um, don't forget our Saturday open house um, this Saturday from nine to five, come and visit the shop or book one of the remaining spots to come and sew with us. Um, also, um, he says in my travel to Germany is coming up. So don't forget about that. Um, online ordering will still be available during that time, but from January 20th to the 28th, um, so the Friday and then the full week after that, uh, the store will be closed for in-store shopping uh, because we're only going to have Courtney on the floor and we don't want Courtney to be burnt out to having to um, carry the full load for all three of us. So um, thanks, Courtney, for uh, holding the fort and um, she will be fulfilling all of your online orders. If you're in Ottawa, you can still select bin pickup and then your orders will be available in Bell's Corners to pick up during that time. And it's just a week. I do suggest that you follow our Instagram account, Mimi Fabrics Canada, because we will be posting details about our travels there in our stories. Uh, so you can see um, all the fun things we're doing, maybe the fun things that we're finding because we're going to it, the, um, the big fabric trade show in Munich uh, and we'll be sourcing some new materials. So this is really, really important for the whole year this is the first time we've been able to go since COVID. so it's been a really long time since we've been and we want to see what are the amazing things that are out there right now and we want to source um all the great things for you so also we're taking a wish list with us at any point in time you can let us know some of the things that you think are missing in the mimi shop so we can see what we can find we can see what's out there i'm always happy to find new things. I think we need a bag sewing class with Hisai in person. That is absolutely true. And we are, during our travels, you know, we're not just going to be lazy. We are going to plan things like that. So we have it um, in our agenda to plan out our class schedule. So we were hopefully able, uh, this coming spring, able to offer in-store classes. Um, we just have to work on the logistics, but uh, this uh, a bag sewing class is definitely one of the things on our to-do list to hash out. Um, hang it under the table. Oh, I missed it. I miss. Uh, I'm like reading super far back. Tanya missed the beginning of the video. Well, Tanya, you will have to go back and rewatch this video because you missed some really good things. Um, so anyhow, I do think that I covered everything. Did I cover everything? If I'm if I missed something, I will add it to the newsletter for tomorrow. So make sure that you're signed up for the newsletter so I can make sure that all of the information is in there. Um, you can sign up to the newsletter by going to our website and there will be a pop up and um, you can sign up to it. If it doesn't work, just send me an email and I'll sign you up. Uh, make sure you are um, subscribed to this YouTube channel if you're watching it on YouTube so that you get notified about our other Thursday videos and other tutorials that might be coming up. Uh, and yes, of course, the Instagram account. If you want to see about our travels in Germany, you should definitely be with us. So thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year again. And um, I hope that you'll find some great sewing inspiration from us and um we'll see you tomorrow 10 30 a.m for all these pieces bye for now